Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to talk to you today about how many programming languages should you learn when you are becoming or are a developer. This is a very common question, especially for beginners. I remember when I first was starting to learn development and code and I would go on job postings and I would see you need to know Python, JavaScript, MySQL, Vue, React, like it felt at the time like I needed to know absolutely everything even to get into a job, like my first development job. And it became very overwhelming. And what I ended up doing for a brief minute was rather than focusing on one programming language or one framework, I was trying to learn everything at once, which became very overwhelming and very impractical as to actually mastering something and really understanding something. Something, I decided to learn everything and quickly came to realize that in turn I learned nothing. So taking a step back and really realizing that um, what do I need to learn first and why do I need to learn this language first and then kind of going from there. Now that I have been developing for a while and uh, in the workforce and all of that grown-up stuff, I have some advice as well about how many programming languages should you learn and as your career continues, how many languages should you continue to learn. So. Let's get started. If you aren't already, subscribe to my channel, give the bell a ring, and let's get started. Okay, to get started on this video, I kind of want to break down two different things. I want to break down the subject of generalist and subject of specialist. A generalist typically in the code or programming world knows a little about a lot of different things or even not a little bit, but they know a lot of different things, but they might not know the ins and outs very, very deeply of all the different things that they know. A specialist is someone who, as it sounds like, specializes in one different programming language or one different framework and really, really understands the ins and outs of that language. Like I'm talking deep, they go deep. They know everything there is to know about that language or framework and they are obsessed with it. Um, that's what they dedicate all their time to, all their learnings to, and they are a complete expert in that, that framework or language. They are who you go to when you really need to debug something and you've tried everything or you want to learn more about this language or framework, you know that specialist is who you go to. So which one do you become and how do you really choose which one you should become? Specialist sounds really amazing, you're specializing in something. Generalist though sounds really great too, you know a little about a lot of different things. How do you, how do you pick? I'm going to break it down by my experience and hopefully that will help you navigate through yours. Okay, so let's start from the beginning of your progression with development. When you're first learning how to code or you want to become a developer, I would definitely suggest focusing on one language. So for example, a very popular language that is a really great starting point to learn is say JavaScript. And rather than initially even learning a framework or anything with JavaScript, learn vanilla JavaScript. Learn the very basics of JavaScript, what it's all about, the ins and outs of it, and really how it, it functions. Then, once you've taken time to master vanilla JavaScript, add on a framework. How to choose what framework? Choose a framework that is very popular where you are located if you especially want to get a job. So very popular frameworks at the moment would be Vue, React, um, Angular is still popular. Any of those frameworks I would choose. Vue I think is a really great framework to start with especially. Um, and then take that and add it on to JavaScript. Add it on to your learnings with vanilla JavaScript. Add on that library or framework and that will really help kind of break it down step by step rather than when you're first starting to learn something jumping right into the framework. You can do that, you can jump right into the framework, but the problem with that is you won't really understand what's happening under the hood with JavaScript. You'll just jump into a framework and then when you are trying to learn another framework, if you start right off the bat learning one, it will be a bit more difficult to pick up that second framework if you don't have vanilla JavaScript under your belt to begin with. So definitely start with one programming language and as I mentioned, JavaScript's a great one. There are other ones that are great to learn with too, such as Python. Um, but for my example, JavaScript, and then once you master that programming language, add on a framework, but take your time to master that language. I know a lot of times it can be very easy to want to rush and continue uh, because this industry is moving so fast paced and it can be very um, overwhelming when you are first starting out to be like, oh my gosh, I gotta catch up. There's so much I need to do and so much I need to learn, but I promise you that will come with time. Just take a step back, 
learn one programming language, then add on a framework. Once you've done that, once you've done that, you feel like you have one programming language really well uh, learned and you have a framework that you really well understand, you can go so many different directions. Yes, you can learn a second programming language or you can learn a bit about databases, you can learn a bit about servers. There are so many different options that you can continue to add on that it more so goes into what kind of developer you want to be. Do you want to be a generalist or do you want to be a specialist? And once you kind of figure out that, it will help you navigate your learnings. You can become a very successful developer by just learning one programming language and really focusing in on that. Um, especially when you're job hunting, a lot of times they're only asking for one or maybe two programming languages with a few frameworks and stuff especially if you're a beginner so don't put too emphasis too much emphasis on learning too many different programming languages right when you're starting out try for just one and getting it really down pat and really understanding it so when you go in for those interviews or you start your job you really have a solid understanding of this language that you are working with and you can really have a, a good base to build off of that there is no amount of programming languages that you need to learn throughout your career as a developer. However, as things change and technology changes, different languages will come up that will be more hot and not hot and changing like that. So it can become, it almost becomes exciting to learn a new language once you've mastered one because you're like, oh, I wonder how this works. I wonder what's going on with this programming language and what makes it different. So it will be almost a natural usually anyway, it's a natural kind of inkling that once you have mastered one programming language and are working with it, you'll naturally start gravitating to maybe wanting to learn another one or another framework, but don't get too caught up in, I need to learn 10 programming languages or 20, however many programming languages, um, before I can become a developer or before I'm great at something, a lot of times people will be like, well, how many languages do I need to know? And really the answer is you need to know one. And once you know one, you can either become a specialist with that language and really go from there or learn another language and and learn other things about, about different programming languages and about different frameworks. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.